got this dude. Yo, what's up guys? Well, we were supposed to go bear hunting uh, last weekend, but there's a little minor inconvenience. As you guys can tell, we are in quite the pickle. So, we got the Outlander rigged up with a bunch of tools. Pull it out with the old tractor. Okay, so what we got going on here is my dad hooked up to the tractor. Goes all the way here to this pulley. And then all the way to the tree around that pulley. And then all the way back to my truck. So hopefully that'll do the trick and pull this sucker out slowly. That worked way better than I thought. So as you guys can see, yeah, those ruts were pretty, pretty deep. Yeah. Also, thanks to Ben's B for these awesome decals here. What do you think, Pops? Easier than it looked? It went good. Triple the power. Also helped that we had a tractor. Whoa. Alright, welcome back guys. We're uh, finally, finally at the bear bait. After not getting stuck this time, we made it to the bear bait and uh, we'll see if we can't see some, some big old bears. We're just getting ready right now. We got my buddy Caden with us here. What are we gonna see? I don't know dude, 600 pounder? You heard it here folks, 600 pounders. I'm uh, I'm going with the bow, got the Hoyt, uh, the Hoyt, the Hoyt. <laughs> got the Hoyt Pro Defiant, got her all set up. And then he's uh, he's going rifle. Nice. Well, it's pretty windy today, but we got a good wind for us. So if anything, it's better if it's a bit windy. Our scent is going to go right over them and hopefully not in their face and they smell us. So yeah, watch us luck. All right, welcome back. We're May 29th. Uh, no, no bear shot yet. We posted a couple times. My dad and my sister posted uh, yesterday and they saw one around 200 pounds. Nothing monstrous. He stayed at the bay for a bit. There's a bigger bear behind him. That scared him off. And uh, check the trail cam. And we got a few shooters close to that 20 inch mark. So that's what we're after. If you guys are bear hunters and you guys bait bear, you'll know that the mosquitoes are extremely bad right now, as they are right now. So, gotta wrap this up quick. Just refilled the bait, got a fresh 10 bags, I think, and uh, that'll do the trick. They were both both empty. We left them alone, left them alone for a couple weeks, and uh, both empty. We got thousands of pictures of bears, so they're extremely active right now. But. Okay. 
Okay. Whew. All right, welcome back, Verns. We're on post number three for me and Caden. This is about two, three days after we replenished the bait. We had about 10 fresh bags. And uh, so now I'm back with the bow and Caden's going with his rifle. I think Caden's just about ready to go. I'm about ready, two minutes. All right, we'll see you guys in the tree stand. Your first bear, bear down. <laughs> That's Caden's first bear. Not a bad 
We got Cadence for his bear down. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing huge, but it's a nice bear for sure. He shot him right in the neck, fell right there, and then put a backup shot right in the chest. For a first bear, that's def definitely a nice bear. <laughs> Whew, I'm shaking. <laughs> we'll give him, uh, we'll give him some minutes, and then we'll head down. We'll show you guys. All right, here he is. We dragged him out uh, in front of the truck here. Like we said, not a complete monster, but it's his first bear, so couldn't be any happier. All right, boom, here he is. <laughs> first bear on the ground. Jaden's first bear. So the sow ended up coming out uh, at about 8.30, I'd say. Yeah. And uh, the sow stuck around, and we noticed, I heard some, some popping, so I knew there was a boar behind him, or behind her. And uh, sure enough, this boar came out, popping his mouth, and he was uh, very interested in her. Ended up sticking around for about 20 minutes. Went back in the bush, and then maybe 10 minutes later, the uh, the sow came back, and I knew right away that the, the boar was gonna come back. So, Caden decided to take a shot, and he made a count. Put him uh, put him to the ground for his first first ever black bear in Manitoba. And uh, yeah, what do you have to say, Caden? Oh, pretty pumped. No record breaker bear, but first bear I cannot complain of this one. Yeah, exactly. Good good post, good night. We saw three bears in total, and uh, we had one smaller boar come out in the beginning. Well, we're thinking it was a boar. He had a nice nice size head, and but he didn't stick around for too long. He, uh, he took off when he heard the sow and the other boar come out. So there it is. We're going to take pictures, and uh, we're maybe 31st. So yeah, next post, hopefully uh, I can put an arrow through a bear as well. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back, Grizzly Ferns. We're June 8th, today's Monday. I posted last Thursday. I uh, scared off a big sow and her big boar, unfortunately. That bear was pretty big. Uh, but other than that, I posted Friday with my dad and I ended up scaring another big sow and another big boar. The sow just looked straight at me. The wind circled and she got my wind right away and then had no uh, chance from there. Uh, that was the biggest bear I've ever seen in my life. That was a monster. That's the one we're after tonight. Uh, that thing is just monstrous. Uh, we got trail cam pictures of him right now. He's uh, he's he's pushing that 450, 500 pound mark from what the camera's telling us. So today we're going after that guy. Phone's off, right? Phone's off. Yep. Doesn't matter for me. I got no friends. But <laughs> yeah, we should be able to should be able to see some bears. Wish us luck. June 9th. So yesterday we posted, uh, posted for about three hours. And when we got to the bait, there was a bear on the bait. We scared it off, uh, didn't see how big he was. Anyway, so we sat. So we waited all the way till uh, last minute legal shooting time and a little baby cub came out. <laughs> and that's about it. So today we're June 9th now, we're the next day. I have a bit more confidence today. We have a good win. I checked the trail cam card in the tree. Well, we're there and there's still brutes coming in uh, at all at all hours of the day. They're following the sows and as soon as the sow comes in, I know that boar's following. Every big boar that we had on camera, they were with a sow. So we have at least uh, for sure two shooters, if not three. There's one particular giant that I'm after. So I really hope he comes out tonight. Still hunting with my bow. Season ends uh, June 14th, so we're kind of cutting it close here. <laughs> But that's okay, I'd rather wait. I've put in so much time in uh, the tree this year, uh, along with my buddy Caden and my, my old man. But enough talking, I'm not gonna shoot a bear out of this truck, so let's get to it.
Okay, welcome back. We are June 11th today. Yesterday I posted, uh, I saw a few bears, but nothing of size. Around, uh, every single bear was around the 200 pound mark. So since I don't know how to shoot a bear, I brought back up my sister. She's gonna go with the old 300 wind mag. She'll shoot whatever comes out, as long as it's over 200, 250 pounds. She wants a bear under her belt, so we'll get that, get that done. If there's a bigger one that shows up, I'll shoot him with my bow. And uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Well, that's a wrap for the 2020 season. Unfortunately, I didn't get my bear and neither, neither did she. <laughs> but that's okay. There's always fall fall bear. And uh, yeah, we're uh, we're gonna get down a bit earlier th today because, uh, well. I'm a, scared she, of the dark. <laughs> she's a bit scared, so we'll get down, <laughs> call her a season. Uh, yeah, it's been an exciting one. I missed my opportunity on a couple of big bears, but that's all right, they'll just be bigger next year. Yeah. Other than that, hmm. don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, well, as it means a lot to you. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Peace.